this problem shows up uh, in a lot of uh, places. For instance, you can have a beam of um, beam of electrons in an accelerator beam. Uh, you can calculate the electric force between them, and it'll show that the beam kind of expands according to what you find. So this has some applications. Um, so the question is, um, when you look at this white thing, from the perspective of white thing, uh, you have a charge here and a charge here. Um, so this is, a, let's call it QA and let's call this QB. Uh, and they're moving. So we're gonna orient the axis so they're moving along the X axis. So this is like a V I hat and this is V I hat. So we want to know force on this. Also, um, at some point, this guy will be at the origin. So, so, so there is a there is a time uh, where Q A is origin O. So this time I'm going to say T equal to zero, and that's when we want. We will just do it at at that time. Find at this instant. Find force on QB at this instant. And the QB will be over here. And they will be both moving. You know, they were moving earlier and they're moving now with the same constant velocity. Okay. So what's going to be the strategy? Well, whenever you're dealing with um, this kind of motion with constant velocity, it's always good to go to a place where you have a frame in which they are not moving at all. So we go to this frame. Here I'm labeled Y prime. I used to call it two, frame number two and frame number one. And in this frame, uh, so at this instant the frame will be this frame will be exactly on top of each other. So at this instant. And these guys are not going anywhere. So in that frame, so in in primed frame, uh, it's all electric force. And say, say this was positive and this was positive, then the in the prime frame, nothing special going on. And I'm just place this charge in the Y prime, X prime plane. And let's be X prime, Y prime, Z prime equal to zero. And this guy is at the origin, zero, zero, zero. And the time is, time prime is zero. So we're looking at this situation. Okay, so, uh, you you know um, electric force will be in that direction. This is B and this is A. Um, and let let me write that down. So F X prime will be Q A Q B over four pi epsilon naught, and then you have X prime over r prime q so this this is one of our square but the x component f y prime is going to be the same thing but y prime over r prime q f z prime equal to zero so we already found in this frame we need to trans uh, somehow translate this information into this frame Okay, so we need a we, we need a uh, somehow a conversion from uh, from uh, so we need a from we have a f f x prime f y prime f z prime 
And in this, you can see the v, uh, vx prime is zero, vy prime is zero, vz prime is zero. So in, in this thing, everything is dressed, right? So the, this to fx, fy, fz. So I'm going to derive this, uh, but I'm going to just uh, first tell you what the relationship is, and then I'm going to uh, use it, and then later on I'm going to derive this relationship to be derived later. It's, uh, it's not that hard, but um, what what we are trying to find out is um, the definition of what force is. Force is always dp over dt, even relativity. This is the one we, you sign non-relativistic as well as in the relativity. So we, we don't define force except by this equation. So we're looking at f prime this what's the relation between f defined as dp dt when you have all the relations you know you have a relationship this with this you have a relationship with this with this so all i have to do is do our algebra and then relate it i'm going to work out that algebra let me just uh earlier i derived that so i'm going to just use it here and show you okay so this is the relationship um just we're looking at the force on this object just just to be sure that i'm not working on the force on that we're working on force on that so if we're looking at the force on that we're looking looking at this force force on b so i should have actually written down these things are force on b on b on b okay so this relationship and uh, there's a lot of v's in use and very easy to get confused so um uh, um i took a took a a new way to define the relative motion is u and this particle could have been moving okay say say this was moving it wasn't fixed and it has a v prime as a velocity which is zero here so so v prime is zero here so in in our case this is zero this is zero this is zero so so this whole thing is zero and so this is zero and this is zero so this this is zero so it comes out very nicely. Um, let, me, let me use this. So fx is fx prime, which is this, qa, qb over 4 pi epsilon naught, x prime over r prime q, and fy is uh, gamma, and this u is actually the v so so we can write down gamma in a square root of one minus b e square over c square uh, q a q b over four pi epsilon naught y prime over r prime q and f z is just equal to zero now we need to write this in terms of uh, coordinates with respect to this frame right so how do i do it well uh, we need to express this into x and etc so x prime when i look at here uh, the relationship between them x uh, t equals to this x equals to this y equals to y prime and z equal to z prime so this is the coordinates of this x y z t and x prime y prime z prime and t so that's the coordinate of this with respect to and we want at this instance so t is gamma of this this gamma 
and then d prime is going to be minus u over c square x prime and this will be gamma x prime minus u u t prime and we want at t equal to zero so so we in terms of over here when when i'm looking at this this is same let's let's call this some a and x prime is going to be x prime is going to just be uh these are i'm sorry this these are primes these are these are primes and these are unprimed these are unprimed that's why i have a minus sign here so i have a gamma x minus ut but then t equal to zero we just don't want that and x prime uh, r prime is x prime square plus y prime square plus z prime square so but this is zero so this is x prime square plus y prime square and x prime is just gamma square x square and y prime is y square so this is just a um, gamma square x square plus y square three half and over here uh, you have this times a I'm calling that a and this uh, this can be replaced by uh, just y over gamma square x square plus y square three half let me um i put a lot of thing here and kind of erase and kind of write this out cleanly okay so summarizing this is the answer at any arbitrary time t and at t equal to zero will just be much simpler you know, it'll just be q um q a q b over four pi epsilon naught gamma x and let's call this uh d d cube the square of that being d and this one is q a q b over four pi epsilon naught y over gamma dq now you can actually write this uh, much more uh, instructively you would see that this fx um, and this fy can be combined and you can show that this this f this this is on b b b so f on b you just fx on b i hat plus fx on b fy on b j hat right plus you have a zero in the k hat and so this will be the vector and so you might be able to say um can i write this as q b times electric field on B if I find out the electric field on B and so it's, it's going to be actually electric field on B plus there will be U cross some term and so while well, F prime if you go to F prime F prime will simply be F prime on B was simply QB electric field B prime. So actually, if you work with the electric field transformation, then you should be able to get this also, both electric field and magnetic field on B. So you you may remember that a, a charge, a charge moving in electric field and magnetic field will have a force given by both electric force and magnetic force 
Okay. Now I promised you that I want to show you how this force transformation took place, right? So let me uh, let me work that out. I use that formula to come to the answer, but then let me work out that formula. Okay, so this is what the transversal looks like, um, and where v v x prime is d x prime over d t prime, and v y prime is similarly, and v z prime is similarly. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do. Um, we have uh, so definition is. De definition is simply uh, f in this frame in O frame f is dp dt and f prime is dp prime dt prime so let's start with the very first one okay see how far we go so fx is gonna be dpx dt so i want to go to dt prime and i want to convert this into p prime right so in here you know uh, t is gamma t prime minus um for the sake of you know just algebra let's let's just do without this without the c square down here set c is equal to one okay and so x equal to gamma x prime minus u t prime and okay so we don't really need more than that right now um and how about p's so E, which is E over C, is gamma E prime minus PX prime, and PX is gamma PX prime minus E prime. So we can uh, we can do like this dPX dt prime dt prime dt so we can even write this guy uh, t prime equals to gamma t plus ux so if if i do dt prime dt you have a gamma one plus u dx dt So, or we can do over here dt over dt prime, and that will be gamma 1 minus u dx prime over dt prime. So, this will be able to use vx prime over here. So th this will be inverse of each other, right? So the dt prime over dt so will be 1 plus gamma 1 minus u vx prime. I see I've made some sign errors here. This is plus. This is plus because t prime to t is plus. So this should be plus. This should be plus. And this should be minus this should be minus then this should be plus and this should be plus okay now it makes sense okay so I'm I'm gonna use this rather than that this will be gamma 1 plus u vx now because vx prime is going to be 0 for us is static so I'm gonna use this rather than this right so it's a kind of advantage to use this <clears throat> okay so we got taken care of that how about this so 
I can go over here because on the right side, so I'm going to have in the same frame, I'm taking the derivative with respect to. So over here, dpx dt prime is going to be gamma dpx prime over dt. This is constant, so I don't need to do anything over there. This u is also constant. Prime, prime. Now because the same frames. So this is going to be uh, f x prime, and then we need to look at what that is. This is a change in the energy with time. So this is like a power, right? So d e d t is always going to be f dot v in the same frame. See so if I do. It's going to be like that. If I have a de dt, you may try to prove this f dot v. So in the same frame, it's going to be like that. How do I prove that? So, you now if you have e equals to gamma mc square, right? So how do I change uh, energy? Well, you have to not change energy uh, if you change the velocity, right? So you have to, if you take a de dt, uh, you will have to mc square d gamma dt. So this is how you you relate to uh, dp dt. And you'll be able to get uh, dp dt uh, dot v, and that's going to turn out to be that way. So I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to use this information. So what we have here now is dp dx is a gamma fx prime plus u f dot v. f prime dot v prime because in the same frame uh, times one over gamma one plus u v x prime. So this gamma will cancel this gamma, and so. To connect with that, we can see how I, I can actually you have a fx prime over this whole thing, 1 plus uvx prime plus uf prime dot v prime over 1 plus uvx prime. So I'm trying to look at that. So suppose I write fx prime and take away fx prime. So if I look at this whole thing, I need to show this whole thing is this, this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to erase some of that and uh, try to do this nasty calculation. Okay, so I'm copying it over here. I noticed there's a plus here, plus here, and and I have one plus u v so This must be one plus over here. Okay, so let's work this out. Um, so it's supposed to be this thing, supposed to be that. I already taken out the fx prime over there. So if I do 1 plus u vx prime all through, so you have minus fx prime plus u vx prime, fx prime plus fx prime. From these two, I get that much term, and then from here, u v x prime um, I see I made a mistake here, this would be minus, otherwise I can't cancel it. And I'm looking at it, this this minus sign multiplies both of these terms. 
see, there's a lot of places you can make a really silly mistake. Uh, U V Z prime F Z prime. Yeah, a lot, lot of the time, calculations in physics are kind of. Uh, uh, you have to pay close attention when you're doing this work, and I think not simplifying. Then normally you have made some kind of uh, sign error, and so I've got uh, u common between them, v y prime f y prime plus v z prime f z prime, and so this is this is correct um, you can actually do the same kind of stuff with fy and i will i will leave that as an exercise to do this you have fy what is fy fy is going to be dp y dt so we're going to have the same way uh, dp y is dp y prime uh, dt prime and then you have a dt prime over dt so this is even much simpler and the this thing was just that so and this is fy prime you have this, this is both prime so it's going to be fy prime and it's going to be 1 over gamma 1 plus uvx prime and so it's, that's what that is Remember, we have just set equal to, equal to one, and let, I'll, I'll come back and say how do you put c c back? F z we're gonna give d p z d t, and same way it's gonna be f z prime equals one over gamma one plus u v v x prime. It's gonna be same way f z prime times that. Okay. How do I put C back in? Okay. Okay. So how do I put back back in? So look at Fx. I just look at the units, right? The dimensions of things. So this this term is same as that. So I don't need to do anything with this. Over here in the numerator, this is force and this is another velocity, another velocity. So the numerator uh, has a force time velocity square and the denominator has no units here and this is velocity square so I have to put c square to make it dimensionless over here and over here I need to put c square down here c here and c here and c here the whole thing will become c square and that's that's what you have it over here So this should be u over c square 1 plus this over c square. So I kind of copied wrong from my previous work. Um, over here, what will I get? Oh, this is already force and so this, speed, uh, this is speed square so this should be speed square and I think that's what the case that's not the case so that has to be the case okay so that's how you put uh, your C's back in okay I'm done for today so uh, I'm gonna stop this video um, just a reminder that if you like this kind of doing calculations so you can hit a like button so the other people can come to this video and if you subscribe it also helps distribute you can check out my website take care bye